Howdy, hot shots. Beaming to you from not a financial advisor land with not financial advice. It's Kevin with Earth 2 Mastery, one of your top 38.6 favorite digital investment YouTubers. Guess what, guys? We're out of time. The DeLorean drop is coming. So grab your skip bow because these drops are stacking up this week. We've got the we've got all the deets. All the deets on the Back to the Future drop. Let's check it out. We got the DeLorean time machine here. This is a Medium article. Uh, only on the VV app, the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future drops as a digital collectible NFT on Thursday. There, there you guys go. There you go. Everyone asks me, are they really NFTs? Well, their article says it's an NFT. I'm going to send them a message and ask them, hey, what blockchain are we minting on? Are we minting on GoChain? Are we actually minting on Ecomi? What, what are we minting on? I got to find the deets. Do you guys know? Comment down below if you know. And also, say, Omi is my homie for the algos. Okay, guys. The DeLorean Time Machine from Back to the Future drops as a digital collectible NFT on Thursday, the 8th of April at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and that's what matters to me because that's where I live. Gag and I want all the DeLoreans. We want them all. And guess what, guys? I think there's going to be a lot better chance of getting a DeLorean than there was of even getting a Mermy Corno. But I got stacks on stacks on stacks of Mermy Cornos. In the early morning of October 26, 1985, and for its first test, Doc Brown revealed his creation, the DeLorean Time Machine, to his friend Marty McFly at Twin Pines Mall. Since then, the DeLorean Time Machine has been and continues to be an icon of the 80s. Guess what, guys? I told you I watched Back to the Future a couple days ago just as a little refresher so that, so that it would get me hyped for the DeLorean. I'm in the middle of Back to the Future, too. You know they went to 2015? They had flying cars in 2015. You go push and push a button on your jacket and it automatically tailors to fit you. Uh, we don't have that stuff. We don't have the flying cars, man. We, it's 2021. Where are our flying cars? His 1980 sci-fi classic, a small town California teen Marty McFly is thrown back into the 50s as an unwitting participant of an experiment by his eccentric scientist friend, Doc Brown. You guys remember the best part of the movie, right? The best part of the movie, Johnny Be Good. Johnny Be Good, that was the best part of the movie, hands down. This series offers three versions of the DeLorean time machine, non-fungible token collectible. That's an NFT, non-fungible token. A full-size, one-to-one interactive version. A full-size, one-to-one static version. And an interactive, one-sixth scale version. Cannot be scaled larger than 70 centimeters. Okay, that is interesting to me, guys. I don't know if you're going to be able to drive them around. It says, uh, oh, actually, it says they're not drivable. Uh, so these DeLorean Time Machine NFTs are not drivable. The fully controllable DeLorean Time Machine NFT feature continues to be developed and will be available in a later drop. Uh, so much like, I don't know if you guys saw those clips of people playing with their little street fighters, uh, their little street, that was a different project. People were trying to pretend it was VV, it wasn't. But somebody made an AR version of Street Fighter where they could drop like Ken out there and be fighting on the floor with Ryu or whoever else, you know, somebody else may have had. That was really cool. I want I want those. Like I want to be able to just plop a couple of Street Fighter people out here on my table and play, especially against the computer. Um, against other people would be nice, but you know I live out here in the boonies, so I don't have a lot of people to play with. So as long as I could play against a, a PC or AI, that'd be pretty cool. But these DeLorean time machines, I kept hearing about one that you're going to be able to drive around, and uh, obviously you're not going to be able to drive these around. And one of them is a static figure that you're not even going to be able to uh, open the doors on and stuff. It's not interactive at all. Um, so here we are. This is the one-to-one -one scale. Okay, this is the one that everybody wants. This is the one that I want. You can walk around it, open up the doors, look inside. And uh, I think you even have a um, animated flux capacitor. You know, I used to work at Craig and Auto Parts. This was something that we did to the new people when we knew somebody was new and in training. Um, over there uh, at, at one of the other Craigans, we would call them and tell them that we had a 1981 DeLorean 
and we were looking for a flux capacitor for it and they'd try to look it up on the computer and then we'd laugh at them. Or we'd tell them that we had like a 1969 Volkswagen bug and we were looking for muffler bearings and they'd look them up and then we'd laugh at them and hang up. Just prank call each other because those things didn't exist. Okay, so this DeLorean time machine, interactive one-to-one -one scale, digital collectible DeLorean time machine can be scaled one-to-one -to, -one to the size of a real-life DeLorean time machine. <laughs> a real-life DeLorean time machine. I need one of those. Um, the doors, did you know you can still buy brand new DeLoreans? They found a warehouse with like a bunch of parts for DeLoreans and they started building new DeLoreans. So you can still buy a new DeLorean. I mean, not that it was really a quality vehicle, but yeah, I liked them. You know why they quit making the DeLoreans? Because they were snorting up all the white lines when they ran down the highway. That's why they had to quit making them. Uh, but I would still have one because they're cool, but it's a lot of polishing. This hyper-detailed version of the DeLorean time machine lets you experience this epic, time-defying machine in all its glory. Both the exterior and interior are detailed down to the last dial as one of the most realistic DeLorean time machine collectibles on the market today. From the Back to the Future movie franchise, the DeLorean time machine invented by Doc Brown, who retrofitted a DMC DeLorean DMC, I think that's DeLorean Motor Company, vehicle into a time machine with a flux capacitor. You remember how he came up with the idea for the flux capacitor? He was hanging a clock above his toilet, I guess so he could tell how long he pooped. I don't know. Fell off the toilet and hit his head and had a vision of the flux capacitor. This is the first appearance of this collectible in premium digital, non-fungible token format. Here we go, guys. This is what I was going to tell you. Even I feel like there's a better chance of getting this than there was getting a Corsica. You got 12,500 of the ultra rare. For $99.99. I need to fund my count. I need more gems because I spent them all on Merba Cornos. Uh, and the market's not open, so I can't even flip them real quick and to get some gems for the time machine. But I, I got to put more in there. This is a first appearance. And uh, obviously, Back to the Future. Universal Pictures license. We're going to have to look at that license in another video. We don't have time now because I'm rattling. Okay, so here's the one-to-one -one scale uh time machine static one though you're not going to be able to open up the doors turn the wheels see how the wheels are turned here and the doors are open those bat wing doors that's so cool uh this one is basically the same thing but it's static okay and let's see here unlike the interactive collectible this digital collectible is not interactive okay so that makes sense the hyper detailed version of the delorean time machine lets you experience this epic time defying machine in all its glory both the exterior and interior detailed down to the last dial as one of the most realistic. Did you see somebody went inside? I don't have one, so I can't do it. But they basically went inside their Ultraman and there was even rivets in there and the joints were in there. So you could probably, even though you can't open the door, you can probably go inside the DeLorean and look all over the place. And it should be one-to-one -one, uh, one -to -one scale with the real thing. From the Back to the Future movie franchise, we already know that. Look at this rare but it's 25,000 editions. At least they are pumping out more editions, which is good for Vivi. It's good for Ecomi. It's good for us, our Omi hodlers. Gag, is it good for you? Yeah, Gag says it's good for her because she's hodling that Omi. 25,000 at $70. We're going to have to come out tomorrow. Uh, actually, this is tonight, but I'm going to put it out in the morning. So we'll have to come out later today and talk about how much Ecomi is going to get burnt on this drop. And I still think everything's going to sell out because even if there was only 25,000 people there, every single one of them is going to buy one of these, especially the one to one scale. Now, here's the one to six scale, uh, one six scale. That's basically like a big remote control car. So if you went to Walmart and you got like one of those big remote control cars, that's basically the size of this. And they, they've obviously limited it. So like if I go outside with Batman, uh, you know, because I have like the Jason Fabok Batman and I blow him up. Or how about the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? I got Stay Puff. If you blow him up, you can like blow him up bigger than the house, right? There's like no limit or it doesn't seem like there's a limit as to how big you can get him. You just have to keep backing up or just keep walking down the road until eventually he's just gigantic. Um, you can leave him on a rooftop somewhere. I've seen people put him on the rooftop and blow him up. They're gigantic. I think if you go to like one rooftop and then you, you leave him there, but you go back to the other rooftop and you, you know, you keep blowing him up as you go so that he gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Next thing you know, he's like the, the size of a sky rise. Well, they have limited the size of this interactive one sixth scale, um, DeLorean. Now I personally, I, I think perhaps 
I don't know. It's a toss up because, okay, the one to one static one is more rare um, than the one sixth interactive. Okay. We've got the, for $29.99, there's 50,000 one sixth interactive. But personally, I kind of think maybe the interactive one is cooler, even at a one sixth scale, because you can open the doors, you can turn the wheels. It's pretty cool. However, if you wanted to take a picture with it, you want to take a like you want you could even do a photo op, take it to your class reunion. I saw somebody say they were going to take their DeLorean to the class reunion. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but you could set it up and take like pictures of everybody with the time machine because you just plop it right there in the parking lot and then, you know, it looks like it's there. So maybe the static one is cooler because it's a full one to one scale, but then this one's interactive. So I don't know. And it's a lot cheaper too. Uh, $70 versus $30. Um, but there's 50,000 of them, you know? So I, my question would be, how much value is there going to be in that for resale? Especially if they're coming out with a drivable one later. So, you know, I might buy one of these, uh, one sixth, especially if I don't, for some reason, if I can't get this one-to-one -one size interactive. If I can't get that, which I don't, I think I will, I think I will be able to get one. If I can't get that, maybe I'll buy a static one-to-one -one scale as well as the interactive one-six scale. That way, or one-to-six scale. That way, I have my full-size one that I can take pictures with, and then I also have the interactive one that I can check out. Okay, so quick recap. We've got the interactive one-to-one -one scale, ultra rare, 9999, 12,500 issued. Okay? We've got the static one-to-one -one scale, non-interactive vehicle, rare, 25,000 for 69.99. We've got the 1 to 6 scale, common, 50,000 editions, 29.99. These are all dropping April 8th, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be ready be there, be precise, set, synchronize swatches, and get to sub and sub and sub and sub and sub.